Oh, there we go. Okay. That seems to be working. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh-huh. Excellent. Okay. Um, so, there we go. There's a few people coming in now. Excellent. Right. I just, just wasn't working for a long time. Um, I was trying to start the stream and it was... Uh, YouTube wasn't doing anything. Let me just turn the light on, actually, and adjust the curtains. Oh, it's been one of those very hot days in uh, in Inverness. Uh, first days like this this summer, and um, and uh, now the sun's just gone down, and we're getting this lovely, cool summery air just through the windows. That's lovely and ref refreshing. Uh, let me just double check. Is that windsock actually working? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Like, one of them is and one of them isn't? I'm not 100% sure, but anyway. Um, there's some nice autogen on the, on the headland out there. Alright, there's a few more people coming through. I can see on YouTube people actually... Yeah, I can see people... There's people watching on YouTube, but I can't... My restream software... Someone please just say something in the chat. Yeah, someone just pop something into the chat so I can actually see that the, the chat software is working and everything as well. While we're doing that, uh, for those of you who are watching this as a YouTube video after it's being streamed live... Ah, there we go. There's wheels wheels up. Hello. Good to see you. Um, yeah, that is really weird. My... Some of my software just isn't wanting to work today, but I can see I can see your message there wheels up. I just need someone from YouTube to say that say something as well, and then I'll know that. But I can see both Twitch and YouTube comments. So, um, but oh, let's just double check to see. Yes, yeah, okay, excellent. I can see that, and that's popped up on the top left hand corner. Yep, and there you go, Darren. Good to see you as well. Let's just make sure that Darren pops up in the chat as well yeah restream is just weird okay so what we're going to do is uh, first of all we're going to start up IVAO uh, because that is where we're going to be this evening I, oh uh, I believe it was that okay um, no it wasn't that one it was uh, IVAO IVAO uh, That's what I wanted, yeah. Okay, so let's put that underneath the Project Fly, the Project Fly bar up above that. That should kind of work. Uh, yep, and Darren pops up excellent on the stream. Cool. All right. Yeah, restream will just have to catch up later. Okay. Um, so some of you, I'm not sure if some of you may see the stream name seems to just have defaulted again, technical issue. The stream name this evening seems to have just defaulted to P3D version 4.5 chill stream. Actually, this is a specific stream. I am having a look at some scenery that was gifted to me a while back for review. Um, and I've, I've never really flown it too much yet. Uh, this would probably be roughly the first time that I'm I'm flying on this scenery. This is uh, scenery for uh, Slovenia, uh, a part of the world that I am very unfamiliar with. So uh, for the developer, who uh, very kindly gave me a copy, I apologize when I get things wrong. Um, but I'm here to learn about other people's countries, so here we go. Um, let me just double check what IVAO. So this is the airport we're at. This is their web page, the Illumin Simula uh, Illumium, Illumium Simulation. Um, and this is their scenery package. It's quite comprehensive. It's pretty big. You've got the entirety of Slovenia 
um, as a scenery package. And then a lot of general aviation airfields, a ton of them actually. We are currently sitting on the on the grass field just down on the left hand side on uh, Portoros. 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 That is Lima Juliet Papa Zulu. Uh, that's the ICAO code. Uh, so it's a north northern. Um, it's just north of Pula. Uh, if you guys know Orbex Pula. Um, so my idea today is to fly from where we are in uh, Lima Juliet Papa Zulu. Fly up to uh, Lima Juliet 98. Uh, do a touch and go or two, and then come back. And that will be the first live stream of a number of live streams where I explore this scenery and I came online on IVAO today because apparently we still we've let me just refresh this make sure they've not gone online excellent I've got some um, ATC online uh, 118.457 or 475 uh, there's only one other person in the scenery at the moment if there's no ATC we will uh, simply just fly offline uh, it's going to be a nice chill evening. So, uh, let me just uh, connect first to IVA. Let's sort out IVA first, and then we'll uh, November uh, four one Golf is actually my call sign this evening, and uh, oh, I'm going to have to. Oh, dearie me, I'm going to have to. F oh, there we go. There we go. So we are a BE35. Let's go uh, BE35. Uh, Beach Mananza, red, and let's just randomly choose red and blue. Uh, connect. Okay, let's just double check that um, TeamSpeak version 2 is online, which it is. And uh, when we jump into the aircraft, we are going to. Ah, uh, there I can see. Yeah, Restream is finally caught up. That looks fine. Uh, so we're going to do a walk around um, and then talk about some interesting things, interesting updates um, that uh, are very exciting. I'm really looking forward to them. Um, so, uh, okay. I don't see myself actually online yet on IVA or WebEye. Oh, no, I won't actually see myself online until I take off. I'm pretty sure that's the way IVA or WebEye shows that. Although I should see like a little dot where the airfield is. And I should be able to click on that. Potentially. Yeah, I should be on the ground like over here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see when we, uh, when we pull up the frequency. Um... Right, so let's just have a look at the aircraft here. Uh, we are currently cold and dark on the ground, and uh, we're going to do our notes upon entering cabin. All right, so let's jump in the cabin. Let's turn on track IR, like so. Upon entering cabin, pre-flight complete. Well, we have not do that. Let's do that first. Contr uh, shift F, Shift eight. Uh, control will lock. Remove. Yeah, it is already removed. That's fine. Battery switch. Uh, oh, no. Sorry. That, that is actually it. There we go. Oh, it's actually been a short while. It's been a while since I flew in this. It's crazy how quick time flies. Let's just get rid of that for the moment. Battery switch on. Fuel quantity gauges. Check. Excuse me. Dude, it's like it's like I can't even remember this aircraft anymore. I fly so many different aircraft online that I'm like, what on earth is going on with my brain? Let's see. Steady on Mantok. Let's just let's just figure out where the fuel gauges are. Oil, oil, fuel. There we go. Why did I not see that? Okay, so I've got considerably, considerably more fuel on the right than I do on the left. Um, that's going to create some, some yaw. 
Um, so we are going to take off with uh, fuel selector on the right. That is correct. The fuel is uh, the fuel selector is on the right. Okay, flaps extend. Just let them extend all the way. My goodness, that 3D modeling that th that 3D model skin is takes me back to my FS95 days. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's fine. Ignition off. It is a lovely scenery of what I've seen so far. Ignition is off. Checked. Okay, let's jump out to the outside. Wiggle, press and hold. That's a little bit of wiggle going on there. Hello, but that's generally okay. Uh, yeah, nothing I can see that's wrong there. Let's move over to the next section. Yeah. Oh! Uh, is, th is that? I'm not sure. I mean, that doesn't look terribly good, but maybe that's the way it should be. Let's just check the condition. Looks fine. Uh, check the... I wish I could in have track IR engaged in... Okay, let's disconnect the tie-down. Disconnect the wheel chocks. Check the fuel. On the right-hand side, there's more fuel on the right. That's actually very difficult to actually gauge how much fuel there is actually from top-down view. I guess physically in real world, you have you can look in and because your eyes are three-dimensional, you can actually see the, get, the, the level, but that's actually quite difficult. Um, just check the strut. Yeah, usually if you have a couple of inches, you use your fingers. If you've got a couple of inches on the strut extension, you know you're good. If you have less than that, then... Oh, excuse me while I just zoom out. Uh, check that there's nothing stuck. That's very... That's... That there is... Uh, maybe I have my my detail settings a bit down because that's a bit low res for A to A. Maybe that's my... Okay, just above 9 quarts. That's actually perfectly fine. Um, just sump the fuel. I've never had to actually... Never had any issue... Oh, that's like dry. I'm going to have to double check that. Okay, off with that, off with that. Uh, check that that is fine. Take off the pitot tube. And it's cold, obviously, because the previous checklist didn't... There we go. That lo Okay, that's consistent, at least. Uh, just wiggle... There's a bit of wiggle, but it's fine. It's uniform. It wiggles uniformly. Hey, Peter, love the VTL. Good to see your dreams of wings. Oh, I see you came over to uh, to YouTube rather than Twitch, because I, I saw your name on the uh, Twitch earlier on, on in the list of people watching, I think that is. Make sure the static air looks okay. Remove the last tie down. And just review the linkages and the trim tabs, which seem fine. And finally end with a lock there. Okay, so that is our pre-flight. So if we go back, pre-flight has been completed. Passengers have been briefed. Actually, that's just... Um, yeah, you can see the discrepancy there. Wow. Uh, we don't have tip tanks, so you can't actually select anything there. I'm going to grab uh, Heidi, obviously. And then Heidi's... I'm going to take some bags. So take, uh, just take about 15k that's generally, that's a large handbag, quite a large handbag. Okay, let's give ourselves 50% on either side. I'm not happy with starting with such a discrepancy between left and right. Uh, let's put ourselves there. Oh, okay, let's say, hello, Friedrich, good to see you. Uh, Twitch wouldn't work. Uh, I'm away from home using truly awful Wi-Fi. Oh, okay, no worries. Um, yeah, good to see you guys are in. Hello, Anton. Good to see you. Good to see you, Anton. Uh, so we have now set those settings. We have briefed Heidi. Um, okay, seatbelt Sean harness, harnesses on. Let's just close the door at this point. Yeah, flaps. Let's bring the flaps up now. All electrical switches are off. That is correct. Autopilot is... My goodness, it's been it's been shockingly long since I've flown this. This is bad. This is like avionics master is off. That's what we want. 
Uh, autopilot off, rotating beacon. Let's turn that on. Fuel selectors on the desired tank. Well, now it's now it's uniform. We could go. That's left, and that's off. Let's go left tank for for departure. Left tank is generally and gear is down. That is correct. Okay, so engine start mixture is rich. Prop is full. Throttle full. Battery and alt switches on. Check gear lights are green. Yes, they are. Well, it's, I call that turquoise, but whatever. Auxiliary pump until fuel flow goes into the green. There's a little bit over set there, but anyway. Uh, fuel flow, fuel flow. Where's my fuel flow? Dude, this just shows you how bad alternate air. No, that's not what I want. I don't want the map either. That's the engine RPM. That's that. That's that. Oh, there we go. Okay, right. So fuel flow into the green. And there is my fuel flow up on the right-hand side. And we want the fuel flow up to about... That was a little bit too much, but okay. Okay, now crack the throttle a quarter of an inch, which is roughly about 24, 25% on the throttle. Um, mag start, uh, put that to start, and there we go. Boom, that came, that came alive really nicely. That door is not closed. Don't give me that. Hang on, let me just go. Okay. Okay. Not quite sure how, why that happened, but. Okay, so mixture, let's just lean that for ground op operations. Um, T's and P's, T's and P's. Okay, oil temperature and cylinder head temperature is fine. Amps are fine. Amps are a little bit low, but. Uh, no, five amps, that's fine. Oil pressure is most important at this point, and that is in the green. So we're good. Uh, we're roughly. Manifold pressure, yeah, just idling there, and tachometer, just under a thousand, that's fine. That's where we want it. All right, avionics on, let's pop those bad boys on, and then uh, cow flaps open. Let's just open that from the 3D cockpit. Wheels up, can you turn the airplane volume up a touch? Yeah, of course I can. Um, that's no problem. It is a bit low, isn't it? Um, like so. Also, uh, it's kind of also to do with my uh, yeah, that should be fine. It's whenever I plug in my headphones uh, we should be okay. Let's go put the TCAS on one side and oh, 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 let's just drag, drag you. Okay, so in our COM1, um, TAS system test, okay. Thank you, thank you, but that's really unhelpful right now. Hang on a second. Where? Okay, okay, that's fine. Right, so our... Oh, they did go offline, didn't they? Ah, well. Okay, I'm just going to exit that, and we're going to fly offline. That's that's cool, no problem. Uh, just quit that. Um, yes, I want to disconnect from that sim. Task manager, uh, delete. What was it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. End task. Right. Okay. So we're just flying offline, which is fine. We can go over to uh, 
one two two decimal eight uh, for the foreseeable future for the moment. Uh, we can also bring in Project Fly, like so. And I want to actually fly from here over to. It's not actually on Project. It's not actually on Plan G. Oh, I may need to uh, reconfigure Plan G because the new airports. You're right. Uh, we'll bring this. Is going to be very important. LJ nine eight. So let's go see if we can pop in. LJ98. Is that going to give me? No, it's not even going to show me on. Oh dear. Okay, we're going to have to just pull this up visually. <laughs> anyway, okay. Right, so that's the starting. We've been uh, we've been idling on the ground for enough long. Okay, transponder on out. There we go. Okay, radio. Let's get grab the. Well, there's there is no ATIS basically. This is just us. It's just us this evening. Brakes test on initial roll and lights as required. We have the rotating beacon. Let's pop on the nav and the taxi. Um, weather outside today should be absolutely fine, but let's just double check the temperature, the ambient temperature, from here is uh, 10 degrees Celsius. That's great. Let's just see. I can see some things. Hello, Delta Weasel. Delta Weasel. That's cool. Uh, is this the Bonanza? Yes, it is indeed the Bonanza. We're flying the Bonanza this evening. It's been a while. It's been too long since I've flown the Bonanza. There are too many aircraft, actually. Well, I can. I should never say that. That's, that's a bad thing to say. There's no such thing as too many aircraft. Let's give ourselves 10 degrees of flaps. Let's just have a look at the exterior views. Beautiful aircraft, as always. Oh, A2A makes stunning aircraft. I cannot wait for the Cub in PBR. The Cub will be coming soon in PBR. It's it's going to be insane. Okay. Let's just release the brakes and test those brakes on initial roll. Yeah. Good brakes. Okay. So we're basically just going to be doing a um, a bit of a scenery ex exploration. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this. I, I've I've been meaning to explore this scenery on a live stream for a long time, and I've never gotten around to it. And then recently, of course, uh, I've been enjoying the um, I've been enjoying by Wings Forty Two the Lockheed Vega, and uh, and this. This scenery uh, kind of got put on the back burner for for a minute. Oh, oh, there's a little pop up. Maybe it's an elevation issue there. Maybe I don't know. Um, but it's been it's a great looking scenery. I've I've flown around it a couple of times, and uh, it's it's easy on the frames and it looks good. So in my book, that's a good a good scenery. Okay, there is a taxiway at the end. We can go. In. Yeah. So I'm not sure that the wing sock is working properly because if it was. It would be showing. Yeah, it would be showing wind correctly. So, um, A2A said they are making the Cirrus SR22. Can't wait for that. Is that uh, that's what? What is this Cirrus SR22? Let me Google that. Let me just. Oh really? No way. Are you serious? That's very modern for them. That's very modern for A to A. That's a little bit surprising, but but good on them. I mean, I always accept everything A to A does, so 
I'm really looking for their new their their first uh, twin engine aircraft, the 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 twin engine GA aircraft, the um, the Aerostar 600, uh, which we always knew was going to happen at some point or other because they actually own one in real life. So it makes complete sense that they would utilize that. Um, the problem here is that you can never actually let's pop the strobes and the landing lights on. You never actually can see those things. Okay, uh, that should be opened. Yeah, that should be opened. I thought I'd opened that. Uh, okay, let's go to the run-up. Okay, brakes hold. Fuel quantity check on both sides. We are good. Uh, fuel selector desired tank. That is on the left tank. Mixture set. Mixture is set at rich. Uh, throttle 1700 RPM. 15, 16, 17. Like so. Engine, engine instruments check. Uh, amps good. Cylinder head temperature is coming into the green. Oil temperature is just coming into the green now. Oil temp oil pressure is good. Uh, EGT is fine. Fuel is fine. Okay. So oil pressure, oil temp, etc., etc. That's right. Mags check. Drop of 150 RPM. So let's go from both to the left mag. Just watching. Any potential drop there? There was a, a small drop. And watch the nose of the aircraft dip as well as the power lessens. No? There's a little bit of dipping going on there, I'm not sure. Back to both. Okay. And then prop cycle one to three times. Okay, D uh, Delta Weasel. I must have uh, I must have missed that particular uh, part in all of my excitement about the PBR Cub. Um, they didn't mention anything to do with the B three seven seven Stratocruiser, which wounds me most dearly and most personally. But I'll forgive them. Why does that keep going to close? Why does that keep closing itself whenever I open it? That makes no sense. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Anyway, before takeoff, controls free and correct. That is correct. Fuel, select, uh, fuel selectors is desired tank. Fuel pump is off checked. Props full in, that's correct. Engine gauges already checked, but let's just give another glance. All looking good in the green. Trim tab neutral. I'm trimming, but I don't see my trim tab moving. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's fine. Cow flaps open, they are now. Doors and windows secure. Slowly advanced throttle, manifold fuel flow, and RPM check. Okay. And then take off. F full throttle. Rotate at 77. And then tap the brakes whenever. Tap the brakes. Positive rate gear up. Okay, let's just take a left-hand turn here. The 
Okay, just reducing throttle to about 75% on the power and the it's bringing the uh, RPM back to about let's go 2100 on the RPM nice and nice and chill no issues there and then bring the flaps up now that we're above the terrain Little bit, a little bit uh, FPS intensive actually. Maybe that's just the weather, the low, the low clouds as well. And of course, in the Bonanza, we get that classic kind of yawing motion as the aircraft is not as stable as a conventional uh, tailed aircraft. Getting a little bit of yawing motion and everything going on there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, Aerostar 600. Um, I'm I'm really looking forward to the B377 at this point because uh, if they're PBRing the Cub and the B17, obviously it stands to reason that that, that they'll PBR the uh, the 377. But um, what's also a lot of uh, a lot of fun and uh, a lot of uh, a lot uh, well, what's really good news to me is uh, is uh, the announcement that from the pilots uh, it's a developer called pilots G GSMH GSMSH I think um, that they are continuing and have actually been continuing in the background their development of the uh, B314 Clipper flying boat all along and um, They've just they've just shown off some PBR screenshots and they've actually PBR'd it and I, I really really am very happy that they've that they've done that and that they haven't just shelved that project uh, completely. So okay, and we're kind of on an even keel here now. Let's just turn off our, our not the nav, let's the landing and the taxi lights. Uh, we might as well keep the pito heat on just for pito heat's sake. Uh, let's just bring the the mixture back as well slightly for cruise. And let's just do a nice low cruise around and see what this this scenery is all about. Let's go find ourselves some uh, some dirt strips to land and do some touch and goes on. So we're just flying over the docks here, or flying close to the docks. I think uh, let's just if we zoom in. Oh, there's an airfield. A tiny st grass strip. Let's go see what that's all about. That's in the valley, off to our 2 o'clock-ish. Down in that valley. Let's go see what that's about. Let's go and explore. There's a big bank of cloud up ahead there. We don't want to get too close to that. But that's a very interesting aircraft for A to A to be doing. Um, that uh, the SR twenty two. It's a it's a bit of a. It's a bit of an interesting one, really. It's not. It's not doesn't really seem like a classic in any sense. It's, it looks like a bit more of a modern, modern plasticky plane, similar to like the DA forty maybe kind of thing. Maybe that's just me. I. Uh, I don't really know much about Cirrus and, and their heritage, but um, uh, it seems to me maybe A2A's uh, designing it and uh, and developing it maybe as a test bed for more more modern uh, engine simulations for more modern aircraft in the future. Maybe that's maybe that's something that they're doing. Uh, I mean, obviously the Aerostar 600, as far as I know, it's a turboprop. Um, the engines are turboprop as far as I know I could be wrong please tell me if I'm wrong there there's a church on the ha on the mountain there uh, there's a little bit it's a little bit glitchy with I thought it I thought the airfield would have been in this valley but maybe I've passed it by let's go and see oh no I see okay 
right? No, it's a bit further up than I thought. It's probably over in that clearing over there somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. But um, this this scenery has modeled a lot of airports that we don't actually have um, in the sim right now. Okay, so this is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm looking at the same thing here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm head <coughs> heading straight for it. Yeah, so it should be in the sim, in the scenery, but uh, the the GTN 750 just doesn't have it actually listed. I've been having a sore throat recently, guys, so please apologize. I apologize for my, my bad throat. There's a kind of mining, strip mining, it looks like, going on down there. Oh, we're getting a little bit of turbulence here over these over these hills. The, uh, oh yeah, the the FPS keeps fluctuating, but I think that's, that's again, that's just my... Oh no, it's gone back up. It's gone up now. My goodness. That turbulence. Let me just double check what... what yeah. Oh no, it's nine, nine knot headwind. It's just a bit... Uh, it's just a bit messy. It's just a bit messy with a bit of a crosswind. And the Bonanza's never going to be a, a, a smooth sailor anyway. It's a bit of a, a jumpy thing. Yeah, I'm guessing over this ridge is going to be the airport. Come on, where are you? Where is this airport? Come on. Show thyself. How did I just pass it? How did I pass it? I'm going to have to fly right over it. And I don't want to fly into that cloud. But let's let's do a 30 degree bank. And as long as we're not descending in the turn, I don't really mind. But there we go. That's a bit better. Just watching the ball as well. Making sure. Most aircraft... Oh, sorry. That's 20 degrees. I wanted 30. Uh, most aircraft... Uh, most modern aircraft are designed to, in the turn, actually keep the, the, the ball centered quite well. So there's really not that much in the way of uh, of uh, induced drag on the uh, on the ailerons in modern aircraft. You don't see it much, but that Vega that we were flying recently, my goodness. The, indru the induced drag on that thing is, is a beast. Crazy. Oh, now we did descend there. Uh, let's just... Why is it that we can't see that airfield? Is it like... Oh! It's because that's it. Wow. Okay, I see how it is. Right, well let's land there then. And we've got ourselves... A 19... Oh, I see, I see. The, the wind is actually... Strengthened... And gusting. That's a gusting wind there. Let's let's just get the aircraft set up for get the aircraft set up for uh, a bit of a a bit of a pattern. My goodness, that's a tiny strip. That's not even a strip. Hello, Angel. Good to see you. Uh, Delta. Uh, yep, it's in the update news. Yeah, oh, that's right. Okay, we slow down right quick there. Down to 100 knots. My, the, the, I almost want to change the aircraft now because I'm wobbling from left to right so much with this V-tail. But it's a fun aircraft to fly and it's challenging, so we'll, we'll, we'll hang in there. Let me just look over my shoulder there. Get a reference. Oh, I see it. My goodness. So I completely missed it the first time. 
Okay, we're going to need full flaps for this because this is a short strip. But thankfully we're landing into into the wind. Or at least almost into the wind. Not really. Actually, yeah, not really. Gear coming down. And just trimming. Terrain ahead. Oh, Pull up. come on. Terrain We're going to have ahead. this woman. Pull up. Shh. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. You know Pull what? Up. Terrain ahead. I will silence you. Terrain ahead. Pull up. I will silence you right now. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. That's on zero. Pull up. Terrain ahead. 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 Pull up. How do I shut you up? Terrain ahead. Pull up. Oh, terrain come ahead. on. Pull up. Screw Terrain you. ahead. Pull up. Terrain 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 ahead. My goodness. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Shut up. Pull up. Terrain ahead. 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 Pull why? Up. Why is it me? Terrain ahead. Why me? Pull why me? Why am I always in this situation? <laughs> oh my goodness! If some, if one of you knows how I can shut that up in the in the GTN 750, I would. I I, I will. I will. I don't know. Look at this yawing and. Ooh, right, let's go to some a more sizable airfield than that. Uh, let's go up to LJDI. Let's see if that's actually here. Yes, that's actually there. Okay. Let's go there. All right, let's do ourselves a 30 degree bank and climbing turn. Actually, a rate a rate one right hand turn. Let's just do that. And the, the a rate one right hand turn is when you get the wingtip on the R and you hold it there. Wheels up. By reading the manual and using the trainer, that comes with it, yeah. Yeah, I did read the manual a while ago, but I really need to reread that. It's because you, you, you read it once, you set up, you configure the GTN, and then after, like, you go from P3D version 4.4 .4 to 4.5 or whatever, you then have to reinstall it and reconfigure it, and then, and then once you've done that, you, you don't remember to reread the manual, so.
I was doing some work. Uh, I was doing some work over the weekend on a new PPL training series video, and that is on runway signs and markings. So that's been fun, and I'm uh, going to be working on that and uh, hopefully releasing that soon. And uh, it's those videos, those more informative videos, that um, I enjoy doing them, but they just take a lot longer to produce and uh, time is not uh, an easy commodity for me these days but uh, we'll see I'm getting issues with the scenery sometimes when I when I turn my head we, we have a dip in frame rates and then whenever I go back it, it, it corrects itself so it is a bit it is a bit FPS intensive I think it's because of the amount of autogen uh, but but for what it is, it really is nice. Um, I'm not... It's not too laggy. I think it was a bit laggy as I came into land there, but apart from that, it's fine. I think this low cloud, this low thick cloud doesn't help me either. So... It's pretty much normal. Yeah, it's pretty much normal, it, normal performance compared to Orbex, as far as I can see at this point. So I'm just heading towards this more sizable airfield. Yeah, using the trainer. I need to use the trainer a bit more. Um, there was an update to the, the 750 as well. As in, um, whenever, say for instance, whenever you go to type in uh, this, the, this is a bit of a an update. So let's go turn to the use the right tank now as we've been draining from the left for a while I'm looking forward to to the, the releases from A2A soon like the, the B17 I never really flew it too much um, in earlier versions of P3D but I would be I would be interested in revisiting that and doing some ferry flights across the Atlantic in the B17 because that's what my grandfather did in the B17 um, there's an airport there's an airfield just there below me it's not the one I'm looking at but uh, it's not the one that's on the map but uh, Actually, it could be that one. Is it that one? Actually, it could be that one. Yeah, it could be that one. Yeah, that looks like it. Okay, so we got a 12 knot wind coming off that that hillside there. And so that's going to be a dead crosswind as we come down. Um, so that's going to be a bit bit crazy. But uh, we'll see what we can do here. Let's just pass up upwind slightly into this, into this area and do a left-hand turn onto final. That previous touchdown was horrible. The wind was shaking me around all over the place. But uh, it's good practice. There it is. Okay. Let's give me 20 degrees of flaps this time, not full flaps like I did for that tiny airfield. All right, gear coming down. Let's not leave. Let's not 
descend too rapidly here, boys. Let's do some trimming. There we go. Okay, four knots crosswind at the moment, and it's hope uh, it doesn't look like it's gusting at the moment, so that's good. Five knots. Four knots. Okay, at least that doesn't seem to be... Okay, that's a hundred knot speed. Let's start bringing the, the speed down and start trimming. 500. Thank you. Okay, at least, see, it's got a registered air airfield in front of it, so let's hope that the GTN 750 knows that I'm actually landing in an airfield rather than just crashing into the mountainside. It's probably why it was giving me those terrain issues earlier on. Oh, nose swings. Don't swing the nose so much, darling. Okay, that could have been worse. Okay, I lost my exterior sound. Oh, no, oh, there it is. Can't wait to explore these places in the Piper Cub. Oh, th that little dirt strip we tried landing on before. Can you imagine landing on that in the Cub? How cute. I really am looking forward to bush flying. This would this is going to be an amazing scenery to do bush flying because you've got a whole country's worth of scenery and tiny little airports. They've they've give put in detail of these tiny little airports. Once I get the, the RTX 2070 as well and I can run the uh, FTX uh, True Earth the Netherlands package properly. My goodness, how much fun I'll have with with the Piper Cub. I've been wondering about gliding recently as well. Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. There we go. Okay, let's do a takeoff. It shows us 18. Yeah, it's gusting still. Um, quite badly, actually. Okay, let's just check where we can go next. Uh, okay, so that's where we are now. Let's just double check on... Okay, so that's where we are. We could go over to... Okay, that looks fun. Let's go over to L LJPO. Let's see if we can actually pull that up here as well. LJPO. Yes, excellent. Go back to the map. Okay, it's just further north. We're good. Using a bit of rudder. A little bit more rudder. Come on now.
positive direct gear up. Just going to keep those flaps in until I can come above that terrain ahead of me, I see. Keep that climb rate of between 80 to 90. Just going to keep that power in, get myself over this ridge. Nice clouds, nice environment. Okay. There's a gap in the clouds there that I'm going to exploit here as I... I don't want to get too close to those clouds there. I'm going to go just a little bit to the right here. It's a lovely country. There must be terrain. Here we go. Menu. Okay, so there's my airport off to the right. Thankfully, right under that cloud. How helpful. Oh, that's it right there. It's a, a grass strip. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, guys.
and thankfully, because that cloud is a 2D object, <laughs> it's just going to turn and reveal the airport to me. Excellent. Oh, there's a little cub down there. I want my cub. And there is the airfield. And looking at the wind, there's really no fun way to land. That is a dead crosswind on that thing. Actually, I need to hit that. I need to hit that runway from the other side. Let's do some trimming. Oh, there's a nice church there as well. Five hundred. Oh, that's almost a that's almost a headwind. Thousand feet descent rate, so I'm gonna have to flatten out quite. That's a nice wide grass strip. I like that. Oh, oh, I like this. Look at this. Oh, that touchdown as well. Alright, there we go guys. There's not as many of you online of course as there was. It's a pretty it's pretty much an off off day. It's a weekend and oh sorry it's a week weekday and I didn't have anything particularly crazy to do, but I thought I'd just come on anyway and have a look at this scenery for the first time. Not the kind of scenery that a lot of people would would uh, fly. I think it's mainly this mainly is going to be a general aviation scenery. Um, I'm sh I'm sure that's what it is. That's that's.
avionics. I love the prop physics in A2A's prop physics are always good. And control wheel lock. There we go, guys. Oh, that's a nice shot. And they've got custom sounds. They've got custom sounds going on as, as well. Let's just have a look at this air, airfield. I really like the look of this on my way in. Oh, this lovely scenery. Look how green everything is. Can you imagine how much work goes into stuff like this? I would really like to do retro scenery. Like some, fr I'd like to re design some, some freeware scenery for, f for use for like, nineteen nineteen forties nineteen fifties, you know, um, B three one four Clipper scenery and uh, for the Stratocruiser for the sixties as well. That's lovely. I, 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 that's a shot right there. I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna leave it on that. But um, yeah, just a quick chill stream this evening, guys. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Those of you who stayed on to the end, um, wasn't too crazy. Um, but I will, um, I will log off now. Uh, for those of you who want to uh, f fly with me, if any of you want to do that, uh, please go and join my. If you want to, just message in the YouTube comments below, and um, I can always get you a link to to my uh, Discord here, as you can see, where a load of people have already joined, and uh, we could just sit and chat, and uh, we do various flying on various platforms and things. Um, so if you ever want to join up and, and do some flying, uh, please do. Please get in touch. Uh, but apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm really tired now, actually. I'm going to probably go to bed soon. Um, uh, I didn't have too much sleep last night and uh, because I'm not feeling terribly well. I've not been speaking as much and my voice is a bit shot. Um, I'm going to go to bed fairly early. And look at, those, look at that long, long grass. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff in this scenery. And, that, and that's reflected in the lower FPS. Um, but it's good stuff. I like it. I'm going to do a lot more flying here and a lot more exploring. Um, really, really, really wait, looking forward to using the Cub to fly uh, on here, and I'll have to get, s I'll have to get some more retro, more classic air air aircraft like the uh, the the Otter or the Beaver. I'll I'll have to bring the Milvis Beaver in here, <coughs> and um, and the Piper Cub when it comes out. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.